We're good. Hi guys, this is Erica with Not Your Average EDC. And today we're gonna have a fun conversation about four knives that I think everybody should try if they're into EDC and mostly using their knives. And I'm not talking about the package cutting. I'm talking about actually using your knives for all different types of tasks. So these are four knives that I've tested and used and owned that will never leave my collection and I highly recommend to everybody. But first, what are we sipping and flipping? If you can guess what I'm drinking, you win. The huge cranberry vodka. It's literally so good. And flipping, still, the Chris Reeve Small Sabenza 31, because this will not be going anywhere until the end of the month. So that's the knife. Okay, let's talk about four knives that I recommend to everybody. Now, like I said, these are for people that use their knives more than just cutting packages and tape and stuff. Like, if you're looking for a slicey knife, uh, this, this whole episode isn't going to be for you, so just, like, don't watch it. You're not going to care. This is for people that use their knives or... Um, if you just want like knives that, I don't know, like they look cool, I guess, but if you're looking for knives that a lot of people have and that you want to have too, I guess these would be good choices because a lot of people have these. But uh, yeah, just four classic awesome blades that most people love and I adore. Let's start with my absolute favorite knife for EDC of all times, of all times, of all time. Emerson Mini A100. You guys know I adore this knife. It is the ultimate EDC knife for me. The ultimate work EDC knife for me. When I say EDC, guys, I should have clarified. When I say that, I'm talking about everyday carry for me as a worker. So like I'm working all the time even on the weekend at my house and on my homestead i'm usually working on all types of stuff so this is really like uh an, an everyday carry for somebody who does like hard use i guess with their knives uses their shit this is a great one so the emerson mini a100 uh the reason i brought both of mine out is because they're both awesome but I will say if you buy the stock one in the G10 and everything, some people don't like how grippy the G10 is. I love it. Some people don't like that it doesn't feel um, like, I don't want to say high quality, but it doesn't feel, <sighs> well, it doesn't feel like this. I mean, that's a fact. It doesn't feel like this. That's for sure. It's just a working blade. And some people don't really like the scales or they, they don't like the disc or they don't like the clip. So the reason I brought both out was because I love the Mini A100 as it is stock. That's why I have one with literally like a stock clip, uh, a small little disc. Granted, mine is titanium and gray, but it's still the same size as a normal stock disc. Tiny, okay? So this one hasn't been modded, nothing. It's just normal. And I love it as it is. But to get like the full experience of the Mini A100, it's honestly awesome if you do some upgrades. So you take a, a, an amazing knife, you make it even better. So this one is basically fully modded. We have um, a lanyard bead here from ZNC Metalworks. We have an acid stone wash done by myself. We have a titanium bead blasted monster disc from Pete Gray at Gray Precision. Uh, we have a deep carry lynch clip from Lynch Northwest, also bead blasted. I tried to make everything match. And the best part of this, the scales. These are from the Shutter Doug. So you guys know him from Instagram. Doug from the Shutter Doug, he does handmade scales for all types of Emersons. I just received these yesterday. These are green canvas micarta that he put linseed oil on and tumbled for me and they are incredible. And all of these things put together, guys, takes an amazing knife and makes it completely unique, and it feels way different. So if you're one of those people that really doesn't like stock knives, 
uh, and, and finds them boring, I get it. And you can do these upgrades and it makes the knife feel 10 times better. Like it just, this feels different to me than this does. 100% they, they're the same knife, but they feel very different when you do some upgrades. So I, I recommend the stock one for sure. Uh, if you're plain Jane, go with that. If you're someone that likes a little jazz in your life, you can always jazz it up, okay? So this is one that I recommend to everyone. Uh, there's nothing about this knife that I don't like. I don't enjoy slicey knives. I tend to break them and I don't need a slicey knife. I need a knife that can do basically anything I throw at it. And it's honestly mostly like scraping and prying, not necessarily like slicing. I cut with my knives a lot, but slicing clean cuts, I don't honestly need that too much. My work is really kind of hardcore for that. So this is absolutely fabulous for that. And you guys know that I love that this knife does not tell me no, whichever way I need to hold it for whatever work I'm doing, the knife will not say no to you. I love that. So this is one that I recommend to absolutely everybody. The second one that I recommend to everyone is the Benchmade Mini Griptilian, a completely underrated blade that a lot of people don't try because they don't like the scales. And I get it, guys. They're plastic, they're light, they feel cheap to some people. I understand for sure. Again, though, it's a knife that's overlooked for one simple thing that you can modify. I mean, I have tons of mini grips in my collection, and you take this and this, and it's like two different knives again. This one that's completely custom and modded feels so different and heavier and more durable than this one. So I honestly recommend trying a mini grip. If you can mod it and customize it, go for it because it's really worth it. So uh, I love my plain mini grips. I have a number of them that are just in the stock plastic scales. They don't bother me. This one is a coated blade. I do have a deep carry clip on that, but the original clip that comes with it is awesome. And if you want something lightweight and rugged as hell, go for a mini grip. Uh, if you are the type of person, again, that kind of, kind of likes a little jazz and, and something a little different and gets bored and tired of the classic look, then you can always do upgrades. So many companies make scales for mini grips. I mean, you can find them anywhere. Flytanium makes them. Death Grip makes them. You can, you can find scales for these bad boys anywhere. Applied Weapons Tech, they make some really great stuff. So look around, shop around. If you're willing to try a mini grip and you know you're not gonna like those plastic scales, then just order the knife and shop around for the aftermarket scales. And I really do think you could be happy with your purchase, especially if you go with the alternate blade shape. A lot of people don't like the drop point. This sheep's foot, amazing. So this one, I acid stone washed. It's got death grip scales on it that are G10. Nice lanyard bead, stone washed clip, uh, raised back spacer. I mean, this whole thing is just decked to the max. And it's a really awesome blade for basically anything. This blade shape right here, you get a lot of coverage with that. I mean, that is just prime for EDC right here. This is one that I've tested plenty and I trust it 100% and they're so freaking rugged. So Mini Grip by Benchmade, check it out for sure. The third one, classic, a small Sebenza. Now the whole Chris Reeve thing going on on my page has caused a lot of attention. Uh, I can recommend the small Sebenza 31 and S45 because that's the one that has worked best for me so far. So, so the, the Sebenza 21 is great. The steel was just a little soft for me. The 31 is fantastic. I have it in S45 and it's a game changer. So I can recommend this uh, for anybody looking for a higher end EDC knife. This thing has not had a single issue yet and I have done quite a bit with it. So again, a very classic, sleek, simple design. 
You can hold it all types of ways. It doesn't really have too many fancy things going on that will become problematic in terms of ergonomics. Uh, very streamlined, and I really enjoy when my knives have the tip aligning with the rest of the knife, like kind of center line, so that it's just a straight extension of my hand when I'm working. Bro, ooh, somebody flexing. Somebody's flexing. Um, this is absolutely fantastic. And this steel is amazing so far. Uh, it does still have the up and down blade play. That still hasn't really changed, but it's not going to close on me, so I don't care. Really nice EDC option if you're willing to spend the extra money. So that's the Chris Reeves Small Sabenza 31 in S45VN. I'm telling you, the S45 is completely different. Use it. Try it. Lastly, okay, attention, Robbie, if you're watching this, you're going to be happy. 940, right? The 940 by Benchmade. A complete classic. So this one is one that I can recommend up and down, all the way, forever. This thing is a beast. Uh, the tip coming in line with everything else, fantastic. Really thin, really light. I love that that tip, man. You can really do some work with that and not have to worry. And there are pff, infinite versions of the 940. If you don't like the, the purple and the green, I don't blame you. There are so many versions of this that you can look for and buy. And there's aftermarket scales. Again, if you don't like the green, there's so many scales that you can try. But this thing is a workhorse. This is a little more stout than some other knives. It is not slicey. It is not thin in terms of blade stock. This is just a work knife that you can do anything with and it probably won't break on you. Really dependable, lightweight, incredible action. I mean, uh, it's just great. Mine has a custom disc on it. Uh, it's much larger than the stock one. I love it. This thing is just awesome. So this is another one that I recommend to anybody looking for a an all-around utility knife. You know, that's what I should start calling them is utility knives because they are just for everything. Not, not slicey, not thin behind the edge. They're just utility working knives that you can do anything with and not have to worry about it. So those are four knives that I recommend to Everyone really, I mean, I get so many messages a day asking what the best EDC knife is, what's my favorite EDC knife, what's my favorite work knife. Uh, those are the ones that I can recommend to everyone. And like I said, I've tested them. It's not like I carried them and I recommend them. I tested them, put them through the work, and they came out on the other end. Incredible. So I recommend those to everyone. If you have any questions, you can DM me on Instagram. If you comment on YouTube, I'm not going to look at it and I'm not going to respond because that is my rule for myself. Sorry, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> um, so please DM me through Instagram. That's where I'm most active and that's where I respond to all the messages and everything. YouTube is not going to be like that. I just like to upload videos for you guys to watch and I'm not going through the comments because I will drive myself crazy. So um, everyone have a great weekend. Hope you're relaxing. If you're working, I am sorry for you and I feel bad. Uh, cheers, guys. And... Um, just somebody, somebody wanted to say something at the very end here. What was that? Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll let him know. Use your shit, guys. 940 says, use your shit. See you later.